Oh well, we just pulled up to um, the Manning Riverside Camp, which is on um, Mount Barnett Roadhouse. Uh, pulled in there for a quick bite deep for lunch, had the Mount Barnett Burger, which was a yeah, pretty big feed actually. It was a um, yeah, beef patty, beetroot, uh, bacon, egg, pineapple, and then we've got a, some chips as well. But yeah, we'll be having those chips for dinner, I think, with some reheat them with some steak. But um, yeah, just set up camp. We're gonna do the Manning Gorge walk um, shortly, which um, should be pretty cool. You gotta swim across the river to do that one, but um, I'll give you a look at camp. Pretty good campsite right near the, um, the start of the gorge walk, so yeah, we'll have a bit of a drink and I'll pick up the camera later. Start the hike. Oh well. That's the start of the um, Manning Gorge walk. They give you a little bucket to put these things in. Yeah, go that side. There you go. So that's the water crossing to start the uh, Manning Gorge Walk. But yeah, all your things in that bucket, cross the, cross the river and then start the hike. We're about uh, 15 minutes into the Manning Gorge Walk. Um, pretty good track so far. It's, um, yeah, it's really well marked. There's white paint everywhere. Um, it's been pretty rocky. But the um, no, it's been a pretty good walk so far. The um, I don't know, it's maybe 35 degrees or something, but that swim to start the walk definitely um, sets it off right, it cools you off straight away. So I think we've got about half an hour left to go, but I'll pick up the camera when, when we get there. to uh, Manning Gorge and we got this little beach all to ourselves. Everyone else seems to be um, packing up and heading back to camp. So we've got this little this little beach here all to ourselves, which is pretty nice. But um, the waterfall's on the other side. Um, we just come up, pack, uh, set up here just so we can have a, have a swim in the sandy, in the sandy beach. But um, yeah, we'll have a quick dip and then I'll show you around the waterfalls um, when we head over there. That's the uh, Manning Gorge waterfall behind me there. The sun's um, right behind it, so it's hard to get a good good shot of it. But uh, trust me, it's there. But um, we're gonna make the walk back to back to camp now. It took about 50, 50 minutes, 45 minutes to get here. So yeah, we'll make the walk back now and um, I'll pick the camera up when we get back to camp, we'll cook something up. But there's, yeah, three kids jumping off the waterfalls at the moment. Um, apparently that right-hand side's all real deep, so I don't know, it's maybe a 15 meter jump. But um, yeah, I'll pick the camera up a bit later. Well, we left uh, Mount Barnett at about 8.30 this morning um, on the way to Drysdale and then heading up to King Edward, but we just pulled in at the Gibb River Free Camp, which is, yeah, 
pretty nice spot actually. It's um, pretty busy though. There's not many free campsites. Um, there's sort of three spots you can camp um, on either side of the river. Um, so that, yeah, there's plenty of, uh, I don't know, maybe there's 20 spaces or 20 cars here. Um, so it's fairly big and it's a free camp, but yeah, everyone's pretty jam-packed in here at the moment. Um, Mount Barnett was good, um, really good roadhouse. Um, probably could have done with an extra day there uh, just to do the do the um, the gorge walk early in the morning um, and spend a couple of hours there rather than doing it in the afternoon and then rushing back. But um, yeah, we're going to King Edward now, so I'll um, probably pick the camera up when we get to Drysdale um, or at King Edward. Anyway, see you in the next clip. Uh, well, we, made, we made the two hour drive from Drysdale Station to um, King Edward River Camp. Just got here. Um, the road wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, like a lot of people say, that's the caravan killer road. Um, the corrugations are terrible, it'll take you hours. Um, but it honestly wasn't, wasn't that bad at all. We probably averaged maybe 60 to 70 k's an hour. No worse than some sections of the Gib, really. Um, but yeah, we're here now. We're just going to go down to the river and have a quick quick little swim and then I think we might do the um, falls walk which is one and a half k's apparently um, do that closer to sunset but um, yeah I'll show you around camp have a look all right we just yeah walked about 300 meters from camp um, along the river and up to the falls and you, we can hear them running I can't quite see them it's not I mean it's not it doesn't sound like a waterfall, it sounds more like a little running creek, but it looks it looks pretty good nonetheless. The um yeah, there's plenty of kids playing around in the water and some family swimming with pool noodles floating around. But um yeah, here's the here's the river now. I'm just walking up to the walking up to the falls. Yeah, there's some rock art um as you drive in, there's a big sign that says um, rock art this way, but um, we'll check that out. We'll check that out tomorrow on the way to Mitchell Falls, maybe. Pretty cool how like smooth the rocks are. <clears throat> Obviously in the wet, the wet season, this is all underwater and all these um, rocks have just been hammered over the years and they're all smooth, but we're just up to the falls now and it looks pretty nice. Made up a uh, little swing out bracket for the uh, for the shower. The old shower, oh, the old bracket used to sit in front of the um, canopy, in front of the canopy door. So I made up a 
little swing out swing out bracket at work to um, swing out 90 degrees rather than paying $500 for one from core off road. So yeah, she looks to be working pretty good. And then just had to make up a little extension piece of holes. So it um, reaches the new position, but yeah. Well, um, every campsite we've stayed at so far has had, um, had a shower. So we're gonna use that for the first time on this trip. And yeah, we'll probably kick back, have a few drinks, and I think we're gonna make some nachos for dinner tonight. So I might uh, pick up the camera then, but if not, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we just got to the um, Mitchell Falls camping area. Uh, this is where you start the um, start the walk to get to Mitchell Falls, and also where you can get the helicopter ride um, to and from the falls. The track in, no, oh, it wasn't that bad. It was corrugated, but we probably sat on 45, 50 k's an hour. Um, it was probably the most corrugated road we've been on, um, but it wasn't. <clears throat> it, there wasn't many like big washouts or major areas of concern, which was pretty good. Um, King Edward Camp was probably one of our favourites of the trip so far. Um, that river that says is really nice and it's pretty peaceful in that, um, pretty peaceful at camp. There's maybe half a dozen other cars that we could see around us. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have a quick, quick boat to eat, quick chicken wrap, I think. Um, we just had a coffee this morning and then hit the road. Um, but yeah, we'll have a chicken wrap and then we'll... Um, yeah, we'll start this hike. I think we gotta go check in at the helicopter um, helicopter place because we're getting a helicopter ride at three o'clock back from the Mitchell Falls, so we don't have to walk both ways. Uh, we should get back to the car at 3.30 and then, yeah, maybe an hour and a half, we're staying at King Edward again. Um, gave the car a bit of a look at this morning and we've had the first, uh, the first issue, that bolt. <laughs> one of the bash plates, one of the bash plate bolts um, come out sometime yesterday, I checked it yesterday morning, um, but yeah, it come out, come out again, oh, come out this morning when I checked it, and then also the dust in, uh, the dust in these back toolboxes are pretty bad, so I'll, um, I've got them as tight as I can, but oh, I'd say I need to put another rubber seal on there so they're a bit tighter. Anyway, I'll probably wrap the video up here for this episode, um, we're about to start the Mitchell Falls hike, so I'll um, wrap the video up here for now, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.